How does the Donovan Mitchell trade affect the Milwaukee Bucks? It was announced Thursday that Donovan Mitchell was indeed traded, not to the New York Knicks as previously rumored, but to the Cleveland Cavaliers. What does that have to do with the Milwaukee Bucks? It is easy to dismiss this news as not affecting the Bucks, but it does. While there isn't a lot made of the division alignment in the NBA as much as in the NFL or MLB, it is still a factor in scheduling, which is where the relevance comes in. The Milwaukee Bucks and Cleveland Cavaliers are both in the central division of the Eastern Conference, along with the Indiana Pacers, Detroit Pistons, and Chicago Bulls. So Donovan Mitchell being traded to the Cavaliers means that the Milwaukee Bucks will have to face Mitchell twice as often, going from twice a year as a member of the Utah Jazz in the Western Conference, to now four times this season as a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Bucks and New Look Cavaliers will be well acquainted early in the season, Two matchups in Milwaukee will take place on November 16th and 25th, with the other two matchups coming on December 21st and January 21st, those two games in Cleveland. The Cavaliers traded three players, Colin Sexton, Lori Markkanen, and 2022 first-round pick Milwaukee-born Achai Agbaji. A pick the Milwaukee Bucks were rumored to be interested in trading for an addition to several first-round picks and pick swaps. Colin Sexton is a solid player, and I'll admit I'm happy to see Mark Kane and go, because his size was effective guarding K.A. Tris Middleton for stretches when the Bucks and Cavaliers played. What does Donovan Mitchell coming over to the Cavaliers mean for their head-to-head -head matchups with the Milwaukee Bucks? It means J. Rue Holiday, Grayson Allen, Wesley Matthews, George Hill, and Javon Carter have more work to do defensively. Cleveland already had an all-star in their backcourt last season with Darius Garland who got paid this summer, and now Donovan Mitchell, who has been a perennial all-star and has had some pretty strong playoff moments though hasn't amounted to a championship, leading the Utah Jazz to rebuild. In 10 games as a member of the Jazz against the Milwaukee Bucks, Donovan Mitchell has averaged 26.2 points, 4.7 assists, and 3.8 rebounds, while his field goal percentage is a relatively low 40.1%. In those 10 games, Mitchell's three-point percentage is nearly the same at 40%. The last time the Bucks and Jazz played against each other, Donovan Mitchell and J. Rue Holiday went at it, each scoring 29 points on 10 made field goals. However, it took Mitchell 32 field goal attempts, including 17 three-pointers of which he made five to get those 29. It took J. Rue Holiday just 21. Mitchell finished the March 14th matchup with 29 points, eight assists, and six rebounds. J. Rue Holiday finished with 29 points, seven assists, four rebounds, and five steals. Giannis Antetokounmpo also scored 30 points and grabbed 15 rebounds, and the Bucks won the contest 117-111 and got their first win in Utah since 2001.